Hi everyone, Sean with Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Here doing 2021 Panini Elite Football Six Box Half Case Break. Pick your team number seven. Half Case Break to uh, pick your team seven starts a fresh case for us. We had a team random randomizer to give away some of the teams instead of buying them straight up. So here's the result of that randomizer, and here's the result of everything and all the teams that were bought straight up. Uh, if there's a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in that team random randomizer. So from Paul and the Cardinals down to Sean and the Washington football team, here is that list in person. And here is the case that we're going to do for pick your teams 7 and 8. So we're going to pop this open. First thing we need to do is figure out which half of the case we're going to do for pick your team 7 and which half is going to be for pick your team 8, which is in the store now, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Go get your spots. We can do the second half tonight. I know the case hit in this is the Playmakers. There's a super short print. I don't know if it's one per case of the Mojo, which is a non-numbered kind of zebra print looking card, not a zebra. That's obviously select, but uh, zebra print-ish, if you may be. So here are our 12 boxes. So dice roll, left boxes, one, two, three, right boxes, four, five, six. Good luck. It's a one. So it's going to be a boxes on the left. These boxes here will be for pick your team eight. So right over here on Kyler Murray with the eight on his chest in honor of somebody in the Cardinals organization. Those will all be for Pick Your Team 8. There you go. Let's take those six boxes and throw them back here. And these six boxes remaining will be for Pick Your Team 7, which we're going to do right now. Good luck, everybody. So first part of this break is just going to be me opening up these packs and stacking them. And then the fun part of it is going to go, be going through them. These are not my favorite packs, unfortunately. Lots of packs, very thin. They kind of just fall apart. There's not like a rhyme or a reason as far as how to open them up smoothly. Make you feel like you're doing it wrong all the time, you know? No matter how you open them. So football news that I know, unfortunate for the Rams. I'll be honest, I don't like the Rams. So, um, but still, you never like to see anybody get hurt, especially a young, talented player like Cam Akers, out for the season, torn ACL, a week before camp starts for the Rams. He was supposed to be have a very big year this year, especially with Matthew Stafford coming in, and giving him a little bit of freedom instead of everybody thinking they're going to run all the time or have a short pass to a tight end because of Jared Goff's limited abilities. Um, now, you got Darrell Henderson, who was a draft pick of theirs from two years ago, three years ago, because last year, 
the Rams, obviously, they keep trading away their first-round picks. So I think their highest pick this last year was uh, Tutu Atwell. Chaterius Tutu Atwell, wide receiver. I hate that idea, Adam. I mean, it's great for the Chargers, but I hate that idea because I really don't like the Rams. So I don't want to help them at all, even though that definitely does benefit us, too. Um, and I, Jalen Ramsey's kind of a dick. Good as he is. But, God, can you imagine him, Asante Samuel, and uh, freaking Derwin, an all-Florida State secondary? Oh, oh God. Um, speaking of Florida State, sorry, uh, Bobby Bowden. Sorry to hear about your struggles, man. Can't say get well, but, I mean, terminal's terminal. It sucks. Um, but you got Darrell Henderson, who was part of the 2019 draft class. But they were saying, I mean, you got him. He's pretty good, but I don't think he's a every down back. Um, strangely enough, they, there are quite a few veteran uh, options available, including Todd Gurley. They can get Todd Gurley back. Yeah, right, FSU? How shitty is that, man? I heard about that today. I was like, whoa. I think they just announced it, right? They didn't announce what it was, but they said he's dealing with a terminal illness. Listen, no matter how you feel about Florida State, Bobby Bowden, that dude's a classy gentleman. They should love his interviews. FSU, is he, is he still around in the program at all? Games and stuff like that? Or is he kind of just not around anymore because of what's going on? And is this something that they knew about and or they, and they're just coming out with? Or is this something hopefully that like just popped up? I'm hoping he hasn't been able, he hasn't been in pain and struggling through whatever it is. Bobby Bowden just seemed like everybody's cool grandpa. I, th I forget what game it was. I forget. I, I, I don't think it was a national championship or something. But I remember there was a game where I don't know. I honestly don't remember if FSU won or not. But I think there was something that happened at the end of the game. It was just like so ridiculous. Like an, a game-winning play or, or game-ending play or something like that. And all I remember is them trying to interview Bobby Bowden and him just, like, being awestruck. And I, I want to say he was, like, staring at the at the screen in the stadium trying to watch what happened and him trying to, like, muster words for it. Now he was never, like, short of words, you know what I mean? Very low-key has... He was around more when he was first retired, but it was the first time I've heard of him being sick. Yeah. Like I said, I'm really hoping that it's something that just came up and it's not something he's been battling and struggling with. I don't want to... I don't want to... You never want to see anybody get sick, but at the same point, you definitely don't want to see somebody struggle. You don't want to see somebody, you know, pain, suffer through shit.
gonna lie, Seattle Kraken's road jersey, is that white? It's pretty sweet. I know, Jake. I know. We'll get him. firing him. I don't remember that at all. Did he did they did they let him go mid season and then switch to Jimbo or did the like did they just sign Jimbo and they were just like, okay. Like and he thought he had a season left. By the way, I think your video is delayed. Diet Snapples. I don't know if you like those, but I saw those. Yeah, I went to Costco today and I was like, I gotta buy something. Dude, Snapples. I bought granola bars too. Snapples is a shit. Yeah. I figured I'd go better myself. Yeah. Okay, one box left. I agree. Snapples are fire. I mean, 
it's easily kiwi strawberry is number one, right? Their, uh, their Arnold Palmer one, their lemonade, iced tea lemonade one, I think, is pretty good. I think they have one of those, right? But it's kiwi strawberry. I'm trying to think of any other strawberry, any other Snapple I've had over like the last probably decade other than kiwi strawberry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, over the last decade, I don't know if I've had any other one other than Kiwi Strawberry. Six boxes. Good luck, everybody. Watermelon lemonade, Jake says. Snapple has a watermelon lemonade? Or is that just like a thing that you're saying is possible? Giannis with the Sprite lemonade mixture. Kind of cool with that. Trey Lance, rookie elitist, 49ers. Sean Maddock. And... Spellbound to 349, Mahomes and the Chiefs. Aaron Whittington. Snapple has one? Whoa. I'm going to go find that. I've never seen it either. Spark plugs, CD Lamb relic for the Cowboys and Adam St. Ange. Watermelon lemonade, you say? Quinnen Williams to 95 for the Jets, Sean Maddock. Javian Hawkins to 99. That is for the Falcons. And Jesse Ian Betty. Or BB. Remember, guys, all cards ship. Michael Carter to 999 for the Jets. And Sean Maddock. And Elite Company. This one is Jamar Chase, Odell Beckham Jr., Justin Jefferson, and Jarvis Landry. All of these will be randomized as one. Um, we'll, I'll show you guys the randomizer at the end. If we have any numbered versions of those, which I haven't come across any yet, um, then we'll randomize those separately. Patrick Mahomes to 99 for the Chiefs. And Aaron Whittington. Darius Leonard and Monster Contract. JV and Hawkins to three ninety nine again for the Falcons and Jesse Ian B uh, BB. Rashad Bateman to nine ninety nine for the Ravens and J Henry Benson. That is J.C. Horn to 49 for the Panthers. And Drew Fisher. You can choose from it. Let's get watermelon and lime. Oh, get both of them, watermelon and lime, and mix about three quarters. I can find that. Najee Harris to 399 for the Steelers, David Duffy. And our first auto for the Houston Texans is Nico Collins. And that is 5 out of 10. For the Houston Texans and Eric Leal. Kadarius Tony for the Giants. That is Simon Meyer. Kylan Hill to 999 for the Packers. Sean Maddock. John Elway to 399 for the Broncos. And David Duffy.
Michael Thomas to 87 for the Saints and David Duffy. And Terrace Marshall Jr. Aren't you supposed to have two autographs per box? Or is it one autograph? Two autographs, one memorabilia card. So that first box only gave us one auto. I just noticed that. Give me one second. Terrace Marshall Jr. Blue Ink Auto. That is for the Carolina Panthers. Drew Fisher. Yeah, that's what I just noticed. So here's the kid reporter cards from that box, from the first box. The first, yeah. All right. So nothing missing there. Let's grab the cards again. So here's that relic card. So these are the numbered cards. So no auto there, obviously, right? This is the base cards, non-numbered. So yeah, I think we just got shorted one in the first box. No points, no uh, no redemption. So I think we just got shorted one in the first box. Hopefully they make up for it with a third auto in one of these boxes or just one ridiculous big hit for us. We'll see. Okay, so back to box two. Trey Sermon to 9.99 for the 49ers and Sean Maddock. And Seth Williams, that is to 82. Who Seth Williams go for? That's a good question. Seth Williams. Seth Williams is the Denver Broncos and David Duffy. Tyreek Hill to three ninety nine for the Chiefs and Aaron Whittington. And Ian Book, second auto already for this box. That's to 199 for the New Orleans Saints and David Duffy. Najee Harris for the Steelers and David Duffy. Travis Etienne for the Jaguars. Matt McLaughlin. And Kenneth Gainwell to 999 for the Eagles, Sean O'Leary. Kenneth Gainwell to 399 for the Eagles, Sean O'Leary. Patrick Mahomes to 349 for the Chiefs and Aaron Whittington. And Rob Gronkowski, Relic, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Simon Meyer. Terry McLaurin uh, to 17 for the Washington football team and Sean Maddock. 
And to 399, Sam Ellinger for the Colts and Paul Kraft. Uh, Mari Rogers to 999 for the Packers and Sean Maddock. Jamar Chase for the Bengals and Jackson Wilhite. And Tom Brady Spellhound out of 25 for the Buccaneers, Simon Meyer. No extra auto in that box. Oh, just base card fifth row over there for some reason. Rondell Moore, auto for the Arizona Cardinals. Black Ink, auto. Paul Kraft and Zach Wilson for the Jets. And Sean Maddock. Javon Holland to 999 for the Dolphins. Sean O'Leary. And Aziz Ojalari to 87. That is for, who does Aziz Ojalari go to? New York Giants. That is Simon Meyer. Jimmy Garoppolo to 399 for the 49ers. Sean Maddock. And Chubba Hubbard. Auto for the Carolina Panthers. That's out of 25. Nice one for Carolina. And Drew Fisher. Tylen Wallace to 999 for the Ravens and Henry Benson. Jamar Chase to 399 for the Bengals. Jackson Wilhite. Out of 349, Terry McLaurin for Washington and Sean Maddock. And Adam Thielen, Craftsman Relic for the Vikings and Sean O'Leary. Trevor Lawrence, Elite Company. That'll be randomized between the four teams on that card. Like I said, those will all be randomized as one. If we have any numbered versions of those, those will be randomized separately. Kyle Trask, that's out of 89. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Simon Meyer. Caleb Fairley to 399 for the Titans and Ethan Cook. Chubba Hubbard to 999 for the Panthers. Drew Fisher. Patrick Mahomes to 99 spellbound for the Chiefs and Aaron Whittington. Randy Moss to 99 for the Vikings and Sean O'Leary. Okay, halfway gone. Seth Williams to 399 for the Broncos and David Duffy. Patrick Mahomes spellbound again 349 for the Chiefs and Aaron Whittington. It's like the fourth or fifth one of those we've already gotten. Derek Carr, relic, 
primary colors. That's for the Raiders and Sean Maddock. And another Trevor Lawrence the Elite Company. That'll be randomized, like I said, at the end with the rest of them. Dak Prescott out of 24 for the Cowboys. And Adam St. Ange. DeAndre Swift to 399 for the Lions. Jeffrey Nance. And Javon McKinley. Turn of the century autograph out of 49 for the Detroit Lions. Jeffrey Nance. Tylen Wallace to 999 for the Ravens, Henry Benson. Brett Favre to 99 for the Packers and Sean Maddock. Kadarius Tony, rookie elitist for the Giants and Simon Meyer. Tyreek Hill to 99 for the Chiefs. Aaron Whittington. You get a redemption. Adita Konbo Ojendeji to 999 for the Falcons and Jesse Ian Beebe. Greg Rousseau to 85 for the Bills. Ronald Bojarski. Nice, Rex. Somebody took that offer? Or did they counter? Julio Jones to 399 for the Falcons. Jesse Ian Be uh, Beebe. Patrick Jones to 999 for the Vikings. Sean O'Leary. Devonta Smith for the Eagles. Sean O'Leary. So let's see who the redemption is. Pen Pals. So that's the on card auto that we're looking for. Card number 30. Nico Collins, who we actually pulled an auto of earlier out of 10 for the Houston Texans. So that's going to go to Eric Leal and the Texans. Two boxes left. Rex doesn't want to doesn't want to disclose. Devontae Adams to 83 for the Green Bay Packers. Sean Maddock. And Kenneth Gainwell. Rookie auto blue ink for the Eagles. And Sean O'Leary. Nick Bolton to 999 for the Chiefs. Aaron Whittington. See, I I mean that's good. I think. Kyle Pitts for the Falcons and Je uh, Jesse Ian Beebe. Josh Allen to 83 for the Bills. Ronald Bojarski. Are you happy with that? Rashad Bateman to 399 for the Ravens. Henry Benson. And Kellen Mond. Turn of the century autograph out of 49 for the Minnesota Vikings and Sean O'Leary. Jalen Waddell for the Dolphins, Sean O'Leary. Mac Jones for the Patriots, Karen Steele. Jeremiah Owosu Karamoda, 999 for the Browns and Ethan Cook.
Another breaker. Continue to pay penalty for another breaker. Yeah. That's not bad. Hey, if you're happy and they're happy, it's a good deal for everybody, right? Rashad Bateman to 399. Ravens. Henry Benson. Kyler Murray to 349 for the Cardinals and Paul Kraft. Adam Thielen for the Vikings and Sean O'Leary. And Chris Evans to 25 for the Bengals. Jackson Wilhite. Terry Bradshaw to 399 for the Steelers. David Duffy. And Joseph Osai to nine ninety nine for the Bengals. Jackson Wilhite. And out of ten, ten out of ten, spellbound Jerry Rice. Nice one for the 49ers, Sean Maddock. Rex doesn't like us, Jake. We're not his we're not his friends anymore. He just likes to rub it in our face when he gets big hits. Not from us. Jamar Chase for the Dolphins and Sean O'Leary. Terry McLaurin to 349 for Washington and Sean Maddock. And Patrick Mahomes, Relic for the Chiefs, Aaron Whittington. Uh, Elijah Moore to 92. I believe that's for the Jets and Sean Maddock. Let me just double check on that one. Elijah Moore. Yes, New York Jets. And Sean Maddock. Justin Fields to 399 for the Bears. And Sean Maddock. And Deami Brown for Washington. Sean Maddock. Turn of the century autograph to 199. Brevin Jordan to 999 for the Texans. Eric Leal. And Darius Leonard to 399 for the Colts. Paul Kraft. Trey Lance, 49ers. Sean Maddock. Kyler Murray to 399 for the Cardinals and Paul Kraft. And Trey Sermon for the 49ers. Sean Maddock. Felipe Frank to 999 for the Falcons. And Jesse Ian Beebe. Rashad Bateman to 49 for the Ravens. Henry Benson. Terrace Marshall to 399 for the Panthers and Drew Fisher. And Rashad Weaver to 999 for the Titans. Ethan Cook. Elite Company, Greg Rousseau, plus three other teams. That'll be a randomizer. All right. Well, that's the boxes. Um, the second half of this break is in pick your team number eight. There wasn't anything crazy in this half at all. So no case hit, no mojo. The playmakers case hit, no no uh, short super short print mojo or anything like that. 
no quarterback autos except for that Kellen Mond and obviously Ian Book too. But no, uh, no early round quarterback autos. So maybe there's something left in that second half over there. Actually, I would say very highly high possibility that there's something left in that second half over there. Um, one randomizer to do, guys, which is for these elite company cards. We sort based off of the back of the card. So these we're going to do based off of the team here for spot one. Two, three, four. So let's use this Trevor Lawrence offhand. So if it goes to spot one, it would be for the Jaguars on this card. If it goes to spot two, it would be for the Texans. Three would be for the Cardinals. Four is for the Chargers. So we're just going to randomize one, two, three, and four. Whatever spot it goes to, obviously it goes to that team represented in that spot on the card. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, dice roll. Five and a five, ten times. Good luck. Tenth and final time. It's going to spot four. So in that case, these will be going to the Chargers. The Chargers. The Browns and the Buccaneers. So spot four is the winner on those cards. Let's grab a team bag to throw those in. But there you go, guys. That's the only randomizer we have. That was the break. That is 2021 Panini Elite Football Six Box Half Case Break Pick a Team Number Seven from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Like I said, second half of this case, Pick a Team Number Eight is in the store. First half, nothing crazy. No case hit, no mojo, super short print. Um, quarterback autos, Kellen Mond and Ethan, Ian Book. So definitely no first round quarterbacks in there. I think there's something waiting for the second half. Go get your spots, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.